Okay, this is um, a video I wanted to make uh, for a while now. It's uh, if you look at forums on, you know, Facebook and other um, juiced e-bike forums, the number one complaint is that the front brakes squeal and it's super embarrassing. And this was the case on my um, juice bike, and I see it all the time. <clears throat> and um, I rode like that for forever. In fact, I used to just favor the back brake because it didn't squeal as bad. And then eventually I needed uh, rear brake pads because, um, you know, I just wore them out because I was using them a lot more. And so I bought some um, replacement uh, pads, these Shimano uh, exact replacement. So here's the, here's the ones that were the original, these black ones. And then these are the replacements that I got from Shimano. So one of the things I noticed when I went to go replace the brakes in the front, um, especially, um, is look if, if i put these pads in here one of the things you'll notice is this is supposed to be flush against this but it, it's just really tight on the sides side here side here and you can see it kind of doesn't it doesn't want to sit in there so, and same thing up here even with the with the caliper pushback and um it's even worse on these new uh, it would be on these new pads, and so I realized, oh, they're not even is really tight on the side and the side here, and um, it was causing a lot of problems. So what I ended up doing was getting like a block of wood with a with a metal file on it, and I took these these uh, brake pads, and I'm wearing gloves because you don't want to touch this part uh, with your bare hands, and I just. I just hold it flat and filed it like that. Just like one mil off the side. And you can see right here, it's really shiny where I did that there and I did that there. And then be careful when you're doing this, like after you get all the filings here, just move it aside. Like don't disrupt those filings because you don't want those to get in your brakes. So then I'll bring the brake pad back in here. I mean the brake caliper back in here. And then I'll fit these. You can see they're they're kind of shiny where I've I've just filed them, just the metal part, not the not the brake pad itself, but the just the backing on the um, on the brake pad. So it doesn't affect the brakes at all. It's just, it just helps with the um, kind of the tolerances in these Logan brakes. So then I'm gonna fit these brake pads in here like this. And I'll put a kind of pin through here just to kind of get it thing. And then you can see like they fit much better. They, 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 um, they don't rub on the sides. They, they're, they're just a, like, a, like they, they're free to move in and out and they sit flush against these, um, against these, um, pistons. So after I did that, all of the squeaks went away, all of them. Um, so I, I think that this is probably the, the problem, uh, on the majority of these Logan brakes. So there's just the tolerances here on the sides of the brake pads aren't very good. So you just get them and you, you either take the ones you've got or you use, uh, or you take the, or your new ones that you're going to put in and you just, just pull them flat and just take a, take a mill or so off of the, off of the side here, here and here and it should take away all the sounds. All right, well, let me know if this works for you guys uh, in the comments. Um, uh, this is something that a couple people have corroborated with me and said, yeah, I did that and it totally fixed my brakes. And people talk about cleaning the brakes with you know, a brake cleaner and, and I'm sure that's a great idea or bedding them and things like that, but I did all that and it never went away. And people have, have said on, the, on the, the forums that they bedded and they did all the cleaning and it never went away. So. I think this is going to be the, the fix for you with the squeaky Logan brakes. All right, thanks.